All right, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make shift to sprint in your Roblox game. So every time a player presses shift, their character gets faster. So the first thing we want to do, start a player, start a character script. Go ahead and add in a local script. And then we're going to call this local script. Once I've made it bigger, we're going to call this local script shift to sprint. Right, now we've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to start scripting it. So first of all, we need the user input service. So how we can get that is local UIS equals game colon get service user input service. And then the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to define a base speed and a faster speed. So this is going to be the speed your player is walking and the speed your player is sprinting. So to get the normal speed, click on start a player and character walk speed here. 16 so i'm just going to copy that and say local base speed equals 16 and then i'm going to say local faster speed equals 24. and we've got both of our speeds what we're going to need to do is say when shift is down make us go at this speed and where shift is up make us go at this speed so first of all we'll do when shift is down so uis dot input began or connect function and then in these brackets, we're going to get the input object and we're going to get processed. And first of all, what we're going to say is if processed, then return end. So basically what processed is, is for example, if the player was typing in chat, then process would be true. So we don't want the player to start sprinting when they're typing in chat. Now what we need to do is get the humanoid. So if we go up here, we can do local char equals game dot players dot local player dot character and then local humanoid or local home equals char colon wait child humanoid right so now we need to tell if this input object is the shift case so how we can do that is if input object dot key code is equal to so two equal signs enum dot key code left shift then home dot walk speed equals faster speed then what we can do is we can copy this and we can paste it down here and we want to change this input began to input ended and then we want to change this faster speed to base speed i appear not to be going any faster so what could have gone wrong here right now we're going to run into an issue here which i've just realized basically shift lock is going to cause this process to be true so what we can do is just go through and delete both of these lines Right, and now if we click play and go ahead and run and then hold shift, you'll see that we're faster when we're holding shift and when I take my finger off shift, we slow down again. So faster, slower, yeah. Right, so that was how you can make shift to sprint in your Roblox game. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.